Michel Rudigo's story began in Lyon, France, a city between Paris and Marseille of about a half million. Lyon is known for its history and architecture, but in more modern times, it has built quite a reputation for its food. Our family from, uh, you know, from Lyon is a little bit the, the center of the gastronomy in Europe. And since we were kids with my parents, everybody is pretty much into a lot of cooking. As much passion as Michel had for cuisine in his early years, he also had a passion for skiing and found himself in Sun Valley in 1972, hired to coach the Sun Valley Junior Ski Racing Team. In 1978, he became a men's U.S. Olympic Alpine coach, working with the likes of Phil and Steve Mayer, and soon after took over as coach of what became the most successful women's Olympic team in the history of U.S. skiing, the 1984 Sarajevo team of Debbie Armstrong, Kristen Cooper, Tamara McKinney, and Cindy Nelson. It was uh, some of the most phenomenal day for the U.S. in Sarajevo, and for me it's just that every day is a memory, every day I go skiing, it's a memory of of those very special days of ski racing. During those days of success, Michel would cook for who he called his girls with special Thanksgiving meals. Wherever we were in the world, we had Thanksgiving and I used to do the, the pumpkin soup and all that. And uh, when I come back in 1984, I continue coaching the ski team here. And in same time, I bought a restaurant and then went into it, right into it. Michel found a significant connection with the Olympics two more times. He won an Emmy Award for his implementation of a special television camera in 1992 in Albertville, France, and then helped coach the most successful U.S. woman skier in history, Idaho's own multiple medalist and World Cup champion, Peekaboo Street. I was extremely happy and I feel very privileged that I was able to give her things I learned before and pass it on to her so she, uh, she could continue that famous career that she had. Peekaboo's first medal came in the same year Michel opened his Christiania restaurant and the Olympic Bar, where visitors today can grab a drink and a bite to eat and see all the great photos from those days of Olympic glory, with a few celebrities sprinkled in. Michel's history in Sun Valley is rich. It's a place he's proud to call home. To me, it's, uh, it's everything I always wanted. The beauty of fishing, the beauty of this mountain, a little restaurant, and I could ski every day.